Voyager 1 was sent to space in 1977 to provide information on Jupiter and Saturn's moons. It was launched right before Voyager 2 on September 5th, and the spacecraft was expected to last five years in space. However, the craft managed to travel beyond Saturn due to a sudden change in the planet's positions. This made the probe send back astonishing data and images of Jovian moons, rings of Jupiter, volcanoes, and seas back to NASA, completing the mission it was initially designed for. Sadly, after traveling for 45 years in space and completing all the missions it was expected to conclude, the jet has started showing signs of being worn out. In May 2022, the jet propulsion team of NASA came across an unusual situation where they detected issues with the readouts received by the AACS system of Voyager 1. The disclosure was pretty strange as the craft itself was in a fairly good state and was sending back data normally to NASA. But the telemetry data received that day seemed odd to the team. What's going on? What is causing these strange messages and data? Is there more going on here? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay notified of the latest updates about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA News, and other space updates. Now, let's dive in. According to the team, the data received by Voyager 1 was randomly produced and did not reflect the real situation of the AACS system. The reason behind this unusual glitch can be the collapsing systems due to the long serving period of the craft as it has been in space since 1977. Or it could be the interstellar space radiation. In August 2012, the Voyager 1 successfully entered the interstellar space, and it's been traveling in that enigmatic cosmos since then. It is the space found beyond the heliosphere and is filled with harsh radiation and energy that is more dangerous and damaging than engineers initially anticipated. But since no other craft has ever made it to the space beyond planets, there was no way scientists could have comprehended what radiation's interstellar space possess. Thus, the malfunction of the craft's data was not a shocking revelation for NASA. But the engineers and researchers are still trying to figure out what's happening with the craft. The malfunctioning AACS system in the craft is responsible for altitude control and positioning of the satellite. It is this system that allows Voyager 1 to orient itself in space. It ensures that the satellite's antenna keeps pointing toward the Earth to send data back to NASA. However, the recent data set received did not represent what the craft was actually doing. According to the team, it takes two days for the probe to send back information as one side travel of data requires more than 20 hours. The team is still optimistic, as the signals are strong, which indicates that the antenna, as of now, is pointed towards the Earth. Engineers are trying to figure out whether the glitch is caused by the AACS system itself, or if some other system is messing with the AACS. They are also skeptical of the high radiation, as there are chances of them causing the probe's failure. In one interview, Suzanne Dodd, the project manager of NASA, voiced the same concerns, saying that the spacecraft are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. We're also in interstellar space, a high radiation environment that no spacecraft have flown in before. So there are some big challenges for the engineering team. But I think if there's a way to solve the issue with the AACS, our team will find it. It is indeed an intriguing fact that NASA was already anticipating faults and glitches to happen on the craft. One of the reasons why NASA anticipated the glitch was because the reactors of crafts were now producing very less power as the probe is time-worn. They produce about four fewer watts every year, which limits the operations of the craft. To deal with this, the team had to turn down various systems and heaters in the craft to conserve energy, which will only keep the science instruments working on the craft. It was also said that this energy-conserving strategy will keep the craft working till 2025. Even after receiving the random data set, NASA is still optimistic as the craft hasn't gone into the safe mode yet. This mode is designed to shut down all the unnecessary operations and conserve energy in critical times. When the safe mode is turned on, it is a clear indication of something unusual happening to the craft. This is why 
the team considered this a system issue. In such situations, engineers are only left with two solutions, which are to use the backup systems or install a system update. In 2017, a similar event happened to NASA when the chief thrusters of Voyager 1 started to fail. To resolve the issue, the team came up with a brilliant idea, which was to use the thrusters that were made to maneuver the craft. These thrusters were designed to be used as substitutes. However, they were not used since the 1970s. The thrusters were expected to increase the life expectancy of Voyager 1 to two years. So, in 2017, engineers predicted that Voyager 1 will only be in a workable condition for two more years. The astonishing fact was that even though the thrusters that were released were unused since 1977, they worked remarkably well when released after 37 years of redundancy. This certainly says a lot about the sturdy hardware of Voyager 1. This is not the first time NASA has faced such a failure. In January 2020, a severe malfunction happened with Voyager 2 when it was in deep space at a distance of 11 billion miles from Earth. This happened while engineers were working to adjust an instrument for which they had to rotate the craft 360 degrees. The rotation was consuming a huge amount of power and two main systems of Voyager 2 were running for it. Because the craft has spent 45 years in space already, the available power the probe can consume is pretty limited. Therefore, the high power consumption caused the protection software to get activated. Soon after which, the software turned off almost all the systems of Voyager 2 to conserve energy. Now, because NASA cannot refill the fuel or change hardware at a distance of 11 billion miles, the company has to rely on either backups, safe mode, or software installations. So, to resolve the issue, the engineering team sent commands for the system resume, which took 17 to 18 hours to get delivered. The team had to wait patiently for more than 30 hours to see if the command got delivered. This was indeed a troublesome moment for the entire organization, as the twin voyagers are a great asset to the world. On February 5th, 2022, NASA broke out the news that Voyager 2 is back in contact and has resumed its function. This is probably why Suzanne Dodd on Voyager 1's recent malfunction stated, a mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission. At this point, NASA is not in the position to let go of Voyager 1 as the craft has made discoveries that are beyond human comprehension. Not long ago, in May 2021, Voyager 1 made another incredible discovery. It detected a monotonous hum sound in the interstellar space. Since the probe is the only spacecraft that has ever reached interstellar space, this was shocking news as there were supposed to be no sounds in space. After conducting in-depth research, scientists gave out the answer that the sounds were caused by the plasma waves traveling in deep space. That's one of the many discoveries made by the Voyager 1. This incredible craft, in the initial years, sent back 1,900 close images of Jupiter that showed the mysterious storms and layers of clouds surrounding the surface of the planet. In November 1980, the craft captured the images of Saturn's mysterious rings and nitrogen-rich moon, Titan, close to it. Voyager 1, in its course of the solar system, discovered three new moons that were never discovered before. It also took a family portrait of planets before leaving the solar system. So, it's safe to say that Voyager is an unimaginably important craft for NASA despite completing its course in space Scientists are figuring out ways to increase its life expectancy. Voyager 1 has yet to tell us more about the space beyond the heliosphere. But tell us what you think about the incredible spacecraft and how long you think this craft will keep on sending data. Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay notified of the latest updates about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA News, and other space updates. See you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned.